himself that because he couldn't think of anything better to call himself. At the risk of having an identity crisis, at the risk of having an identity crisis, I, I think I'll just leave it at that. He gave himself a name. He had thought of worse names, but he, he hadn't, hadn't thought, thought of any better. better. I'll just be Throckmorton, he said. I'll just stand right here. And then he began to exist. It was one of his hobbies, existing. It was as good a place as any, so far as he knew so far. Which wasn't much. And so, he looked around him and he saw. Here I am. There were some trees. This is me. Some buildings. And I'm Throckmorton. There was some dirt nearby. He compared and himself to his surroundings. Some cement. These are my surroundings, and this is me. Or these are me, as the case may be. A man drove by in a Ferrari, which Throckmorton admired very much. It was red. But then, something happened which disturbed Throckmorton very much. It was a cat, an orange tiger-striped cat. He proceeded to walk up to Throckmorton. Goddamn cat. Sit down in front of him, lick its paw, rather tentatively, I might add, and proceeded to stare Throckmorton right in the face. Goddamn cats. Throckmorton said to the cat, Hey, buddy, don't look at me like that. I don't have to exist, you know. Hey, buddy, I don't need to exist, you know. Well, the cat continued to stare at him. Stared and stared and stared. And you know how cats can be kind of creepy sometimes? Especially orange cats with yellow eyes. Well, it was too much for Throckmorton. The red Ferrari drove by again. This impressed Throckmorton very much. But the cat was still staring at him. For some reason. existing because it was just too much for him.